Virginia, the final resting place of seven presidents. This means that there are seven presidents buried in Virginia? Wow, who are they? President John F. Kennedy at Arlington National Cemetery. President William H. Taft. Arlington National Cemetery. President John Tyler, Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond. President James Monroe, Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond. President James Madison, Montpelier in Orange. President Thomas Jefferson, Monticello in Charlottesville. And President George Washington in Mount Vernon. Making Virginia a great place to gather more experience with American history and with our presidents. Travel across America with me. Let's start from the most recent president. That is John F. Kennedy. Both he and President William Howard Taft are buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Arlington National Cemetery is one of the most fabulous places for any historian or patriotic American to go to honor, to remember, and to explore. Trolley tours are offered to make your visit to Arlington so much easier before going to Arlington. Find out who all is buried there that you want to see their grave. Get a map and determine where they are so you can make the best use of your time. The terrain is quite rugged and the tram does not stop in all parts of the cemetery. Silence and respect. One of the main stops on the trolley tram tour is the grave of President John F. Kennedy. As you approach the plaza, there are several of his quotes etched in stone, and this one, one of his most famous. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Another quote, in the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. Let's continue on and see the grave of President John F. Kennedy. He is laid to rest next to his wife, Jacqueline Vivier Kennedy Onassis, who died in 1994. The eternal flame is centered in front of their two grave markers. There are other Kennedys buried nearby, like Robert Francis Kennedy, also known as Bobby Kennedy. You will also find the grave of Edward Moore Kennedy, also known as Teddy Kennedy. And there is a memorial marker for Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. He perished in World War II. I will be putting up more videos on our visit to Arlington. You won't want to miss any of those. The second president that we'll be talking about today is William Howard Taft. He was the 27th president between 1909 and 1913. One of the things that Taft did that was different than most presidents is after serving as president, he did not retire. He went on to become the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, one of his lifelong goals. He died at the age of 72 and obviously is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Next stop, Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, where we will see the graves of President John Tyler and President James Monroe. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I have done a full video on Hollywood of the East, not only taking you to President's Circle, but other famous graves at the historic Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. John Tyler was President of the United States between 1841 and 1845. He was born in Charles City County, Virginia, and he died there in the city of Virginia in 1862. You will find as you go and visit and investigate the burials of many famous people, you'll often find that they have been reinterred in different places. Two men have been reinterred at this cemetery that are very famous. If you know who they are, please leave it in the comments below. The second president buried at Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond is President James Monroe, a revolutionary soldier. James Monroe served as the United States fifth president between 1817 and 1825. He died at age 73. A statement in his famous Monroe Doctrine the American continents are henceforth not to be considered as subjects for future colonization by any European powers. I really like his birdcage-like gravesite, don't you? I don't know what to call it. I think it's very ornate and stunning. Which president's graves have you visited? Tell us in the comments below. I still need to get to James Madison's to have seen all seven in Virginia. 
so I'm skipping James Madison's grave. He is buried at his estate called Montpelier in orange, and I hope one day soon to be able to accomplish seeing all seven graves of the U.S. presidents that are buried in the Commonwealth of Virginia. But moving on to Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. Both are buried on their estates. We went to Monticello in Charlottesville to go to tour the mansion and the grounds, and of course, to see the grave of our third president. He served between 1801 and 1809. He died at the age of 83 there at Monticello. And in his inaugural address, he made this statement, if there be any among us who would wish to dissolve this union or to change its republican form, let him stand undisturbed as monuments of the safety with which error of opinion may be tolerated when reason is left free to combat it. Our next and last stop is welcome to Mount Vernon, the beautiful home of General and President George Washington. Daily lectures are given at his gravesite. During the presentation, the gate is unlocked and certain individuals are allowed to step in and take a photograph next to George Washington's tomb. Usually, this is military personnel that are visiting the site. Flip-flops on the ground. And classic road trip. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe. And I want to encourage you to keep an eye out for my future videos and the birthplaces of these men. How many of them were born in Virginia? We will find out soon.